By ionizing radiation, we mean radiation with sufficiently high energy to tear off electrons from atoms. Such radiation is emitted with the decay of radioactive nuclei, which may occur during nuclear reactions in the sun or in nuclear reactors. It can also be produced by various types of equipment used for diagnostic radiology and radiotherapy. The most common types of ionizing radiation is alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Alpha radiation consists of positively charged helium nuclei. These are relatively large particles consisting of two protons and two neutrons. And because of their size and electrical charge, alpha radiation is quickly blocked when it hits matter. Even a sheet of paper or human skin is enough to stop alpha radiation completely. It travels no more than a few centimeters in air. Beta radiation, made up of electrons, have a lower mass than those particles that make up alpha radiation. Beta radiation generally has a much longer range, but glasses and thick clothing are enough to block it completely. Gamma rays and X-rays are electromagnetic radiation similar to radio waves and visible light, but with much shorter wavelength and thus higher energy. Gamma rays are produced by the rearrangement of particles in the atomic nuclei and X-rays, by the deceleration of charged particles or the transition of electrons in atoms. Gamma rays usually have higher energy than X-rays and both have a much greater ability to penetrate matter than alpha and beta radiation. Gamma rays are only blocked to a minimal extent by the human body, and their speed only decreases insignificantly when traveling through air. A 5 to 10 centimeter sheet of lead or concrete layer of 50 to 75 centimeters would only reduce gamma radiation by 1,000 of its original value. <laughs> 